Uh, we're at uh, Roston Junior College, uh, uh, what used to be called German English Academy when I went here and graduated in 1943. And, uh, and this is a museum now, and, uh, and I'm sitting just where I had my grade 12. <laughs> oh, gee, that's what I... Thirteen, fourteen years old, I, I uh, read the book uh, uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin, and uh, that just convinced me that uh, you know that uh, you you want to love people. When I went to college here, uh, I uh, do unto others as you want others do unto you. That was my verse that I wrote on these autographs. That was before your time. We were trained not to kill. That's as simple as it was. We were trained not to kill was wrong to kill, take a human life. We're, we're presently gathered in the, um, in the uh, archives of the Mennonite Historical Society that is located in Bethany Manor in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. The intention of this um, uh, archives are, is to gather the stories, the uh, uh, documents um, of Mennonite people in Canada. In 1873, our people came to Canada with the understanding that there was an agreement between our government and uh, the Mennonite folks. Mennonites were given exemption from military service. They were given the opportunity to uh, have their own schools in the language of their own choice, which was German, and also to teach, it, uh, teach their schools with their own curriculum. They would be questioned about their Mennonite faith, like whether they actually were, you know, holding to Mennonite faith or whether they were using something as an excuse to possibly be exempt from military service. They asked me uh, why uh, I didn't, whether I went to parties, yeah, and whether I dr uh, had uh, went and did some drinking. I said a little. Uh, well, why don't you want to go to war? And, well, I said my parents and my church taught me that war was wrong. And then I made a bad mistake because they asked me, well, aren't you, don't you feel sorry for the boys? And I said, no, and that was a blunder. And Judge Murray, he just lambasted me, called me a cold-blooded murderer, et cetera, et cetera. And, and I needed an answer and I said, well, it was not their fault. And for some other, yeah, that cleared the air. Like, you know, there was very little said after that. And, so I waited for my call and uh, to uh, whatever they wanted, wherever they wanted to put me. They chose conscientious objection as a, as a route rather than to fight um, or serve as um, soldiers. So they um, were then put into uh, camps uh, across the country. largely working in the um, uh, bush camps, in lumber camps, or some of them worked in the national parks, like uh, developing roads and just developing the parks, period. And we had these two gray uh, blankets. And every spring, we washed them. Every spring, in the river. Till then, uh, it smelled quite rough at times. 20 guys in there, 20 by 20 feet. Kevin. 
we were con considered yellow, you know, I mean, and uh, even my own brother uh, had joined up, you know, and I, I, that was his decision, and, and, and uh, we had to accept that, and, and, and we got along fine. The guys that I grew up with have only had one person uh, say that it was cowardly to stay home. One person. That was often a very difficult thing. And for Mennonite boys that often returned from the military who chose to go into the military, uh, there, uh, when they came back into the Mennonite community, they often weren't received well. No, there was a lot of spit flying. Some were praised for wearing the uniform. Others were literally spit upon, but it was not a pleasant thing. I did at one time consider going under the Red Cross, and as a But my dad was an old colony minister. It was, that would come under murder. That would come under murder. I couldn't do that to my dad, but uh, he was the kingpin of the family and and still, it wasn't only that I, I never feared him, but I had a lot of respect for him. In my book, he was wrong that I didn't go and work on the field for, to take care of the wounded that I, I thought, in my book, he was wrong, but I made, obeyed him. I could still not kill a human being. I, I just could not do that. I could help a wounded person, yes. Yet then there was this question, I would help save a wounded soldier, get him well so he could shoot Germans again. How, how do you justify anything? How do you justify to yourself? I don't know. <laughs>